Hello everyone, my name is Gus Batelli, team principal of the BRX team. What we have here is our ProDrive Hunter T1 Plus car. This is now under the T1 Plus regulations for 2022. New regulations from the FIA and ASO to bring all these T1 Plus cars you know, balanced together to make the racing fair and good for everyone. So the cars are big steps from last year, which is still called T1. They are 2.3 meters wider, so that's 30 centimeters wider than the car we had last year, which again gives a lot of stability to the drivers in, in high speed and low speed. The wheels are massive difference. We're now to 37 inch tires compared to the 32 inch we had last year. So it's the same tire size we, you know, the other cars had in the buggies, the 4x2 buggies last year. So it's a big step, especially in, in puncture protection. Uh, we had a lot of punctures last year with the 32 inch tire. So this, from our testing, improves a lot of the puncture protection, which at the end of the day is less stage time and hopefully we'll, we'll get faster. So they've got new panels as well. So the car is virtually completely different. These are the new panels where the spare wheels go. So drivers and co-drivers will work together to get the spare wheel out and change the tire in case of a puncture. Uh, they have been practicing a lot. Take about 90 seconds to do a full change, which is impressive considering the size and the weight of these tires. Um, we obviously had to update a lot around the car, the suspension components. We've got longer suspension travel now, 350 millimeters, still running the twin dampers. With the car being wider, so all the suspension components had to be obviously widened to, to fit that, to fit the body of the car. Still running same fuel tank, a 500 liter fuel tank, but now running our sustainable fuel uh, produced with Coriton uh, and ProDrive. So this is, is saving 80% of gas emissions by running this sustainable fuel, which is not, you know, it's what we're trying to, to bring to the sport, getting something sustainable that, you know, it will be, be there for the future. This is Sebastian Lopez car, so nine time world champion. As you can see, it's fairly simple for the driver. He got his seat, fuel buttons on the steering wheel, the dash there with all the information you need for the car another dash on the center console again that gives all the information about the engine temperatures that the driver and the cold driver will work together uh, and manage that so you're still keeping the two twin damper arrangement uh better control and temperature control and everything for the suspension so it's all all working well so far uh, we use the opportunity with the new regulations to update the car in other areas that we found you know we could gain from last year so we've got bigger windscreen uh, much bigger than last year. It just improves visibility a lot for the drivers. Uh, the bonnet is lower as well, so the drivers can see more going up and down the dunes. So this on the, on the cold driver side, as I was explaining before, we can see the jack system here that will come down. You can see the shaft in there and the paddle. So that comes down, lifts the car up, lifts one side of the car up, so the driver and cold driver have access to the, to the tires to change in case of a puncture. Um, cold driver side is becoming a, a, an extremely important job at that car. Navigation is key. It's getting more and more difficult every year. Uh, you can see they've got the tablets here where they follow the road books, intercom system to communicate with the drivers. And it's an extremely difficult job. We focus our testing this year around navigation and reliability. You know, once we knew where the performance of the car was with the upgrades, we left it and decided to work on the navigation, which is where we lost quite a lot of time last year. So it's a big focus this year to make sure, one, the car is reliable, second, we don't make any navigation mistakes, and then we'll see where we are at the end of that car 22.